The mesopelagic ocean where light just barely reaches from about 200 to 1000 meters is quite an undersampled area of the global ocean. So it's really exciting to dig into it for you know, the general scientific reasons of understanding the ecology of the ocean and also because there's interest in commercial fisheries. Hi, I'm Kira Willis. I'm a PhD candidate here at Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. We want to make sure that we have a really good sense of who's down there, who are they eating, what are they doing before we cause any potential disruptions to the system. So this is a pomfret. It's a deep sea fish in the mesopelagic, usually lives at about a thousand meters. So as you can see, it's a, it's a big guy, it's a predator down there. This is a pretty rare species that we don't get often in sampling. And now we're cracking into them with the dissection to get a variety of samples. So I'm focusing on looking at what's in their stomachs. A lot of fish in the deep ocean will eat very infrequently because they don't encounter a lot of food down there. And even if they do have something in their stomachs, you are only getting one snapshot in time. We have another empty stomach. One of the main things that we do in our lab here at Hui and that we're doing with these deep sea creatures is we're looking at their stable carbon isotopes. So basically we can use these to trace where they're getting their food from. We know that a lot of ocean predators, swordfish, tuna, seals, sharks, whales, turtles, penguins, you name it, go down to the twilight zone. And uh, we're confident that many, if not all of them, are feeding down there to some extent, but we're not, what we don't know is what is that reliance. So the primary goal of this work is to figure that out. And by doing so, then we can start to ask really policy and management relevant questions. 